welcome back to our channel, everybody. Uh, it's been a while since uh, since I did a video, so I like to take a little break in between builds and, and kind of, I don't like rushing into unless I know for sure what I'm going to be doing next, and I really didn't really didn't have anything definite in mind. I, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to do another race car, but I didn't want to do another funny car right as the next build, and got some things planned coming up for the rest of the year, but I've had this car for a while, and so I wanted, uh, my goal, I guess, in the long run is to do more um, sports car type uh, race cars, and the I'd love to do some Formula One stuff. I've really been, you know, getting involved in that a little bit more. Uh, I've never been a huge F1 fan, but I've, the last two or three years, I've really, you know, tried to keep up with it uh, more than I have in the past. And uh, I'm not a big IndyCar fan, but, uh, you know, maybe build a couple of those as well and add to my collection. I'd like to do some, maybe some road rally cars and you know just it kind of expanded on the race car different different genres of racing that i have not built anything i've never built a road rally uh car or, you know or anything like that so i wanted to do that and uh, maybe a gt3 car or something like that and so this that's why this corvette this c7r uh corvette kind of piqued my interest a little bit and so i I ran across it in my stash, and so I got it out and took a look at it, and uh, it's uh, it's it seems like a really nice kit. It's it's going to have some uh, going to have some intricate masking down along the the lower parts of the car where the black trim is, and uh, that's that's not any of that. None of that's decals. All that is going to be uh, have to be masked off and and painted black, and uh, some other little intricate things that are going to have to be done to it to make it look uh, as much like the real thing as possible. But uh, we already, we've already kind of gotten started on it, and I'll show you right quick what we have. We have, uh, we went ahead and painted, uh, we've gone ahead and painted the, uh, the body and the hood. And, uh, and there it is. Uh, come out pretty, oh, sorry about that. Came out pretty good. Um, now, this is craft acrylic. I wanted to do something a little bit different. I have not done a car in craft acrylic. I've had a bunch of people, subscribers, ask me several questions about uh, craft acrylic. I won't get into them right now, but I, I plan to do. Um, I mean, the craft acrylic, there's, there's so many people doing videos on craft acrylic and, and actually other kinds of acrylic. Artist acrylics. I've seen several videos on that recently, uh, using and I actually have some just messing around with. Uh, they seem to be pretty durable. Uh, but I've been experimenting with craft acrylic to try to get the most out of them that we can, since they are so readily available and they are. Uh, you, I mean, the color spectrum is just endless. I mean, you. you just the actual color, you know, list of colors they have are, are endless, and and then you what you can mix and come up with your own custom colors. The the Achilles heel of craft acrylics always has been, as is with most acrylic, is they're not very durable. I mean, they if you handle, you have to coat them, you have to top coat them almost to handle them at all, unless it's going to be the last thing you do before you put decals on. Um, I mean, you can, you can almost look at them the wrong way and they'll chip off, uh, and craft acrylics no different, but I have found that with using the, I've gone to almost exclusively when I use craft acrylic, I've, I've gone exclusively to the multi-surface, which is, uh, all the, all the brands, folk art, ceram coat, uh, deco art. Uh, Apple Barrel, all these brands have the 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 um, have the multi-surface indoor, outdoor, whatever you call it, and uh, you know a lot of these 
different brands are made by the Plaid Company, P L A I D, PlaidOnline.com, I think is their their website. And they just have, locked into having your mindset to where you're not going to use craft acrylic. Then I think it, it, you owe yourself to try them out. And if nothing else, just for maybe a, a little group bill that you know you're not going to take to a show or whatever. Uh, and just something to set on your shelf, I think you should you should really should try it out. What I've been doing, actually lately, which I did with this car here, is uh, this is about five coats of uh, Delta Ceram coat, multi-surface. Uh, I'm not. It's a yellow. I'm not sure. Hold on just a second. I believe I have it. Uh, this is called Sunset Yellow. And it, it hits the car pretty pretty close to being the, the right color. And um, so about five coats, and then it sat in the dehydrator for about six hours. And I have uh, taken my fingernail and scratched and scratched on the inside in places, inconspicuous places. And, uh, of course, I can make it, you know, come off, but... I've not had any issues whatsoever uh, in messing around with some spare bodies. So uh, we're going to give it a shot. And what we're going to do now, as you can see, it, it dries to a satin. Most of the multi-surface paints are satin finished. Uh, there's uh, actually, uh, Folk Art has a new line out, and I'll show you that in a minute. It dries to an egg, kind of an eggshell finish, which is more or less a satin uh, kind of between a flat and a satin, uh, and it actually has a sealer built into it. So I'll show you that. And I guess I got a white and a black um, jar of that. So I say jar because that's basically what it came in. Okay, I almost forgot. Uh, here is the uh, the folk art. It's called Folk Art One, and they call it their decor, uh, the decor paint. Uh, this is the classic black and the farmhouse white. Now it's paint and sealer in one. I've not used the white yet, but I've I've used the black. Uh, it it dries to an eggshell finish, which is so, kind of somewhere between a, a satin and a flat. And we'll actually probably do this the use it on the on the interior of the car and the roll cage as well. Uh, it seems to be very durable. Uh, again, I've been putting most of my craft acrylic in the uh dehydrator you know and that and again that's one of the drawbacks to the craft acrylic there is a lot of things you have to do uh to get it to be as durable and that's a pain in the ass for a lot of people uh, you know that, that don't want to fool with it uh, but for the money hey it, it works and it you know it, it doesn't stink up the house and easy to clean up and like i said once you put it in the dehydrator let it sit and top coat it. You can't tell the difference. All right, back to the back to the rest of the video. But what we're going to do is we're going to finish this up and top coat it with. Uh, we're going to put some 2K clear on this one. We're going. I've got had some for a long time, and it's the custom shop from TCP Global. Uh, the their 2K clear, I really like it. It's it's came out good on a, a practice body, spare body that I have, and. Uh, Lays down really nice, not much, uh, almost no orange peel at all. And I uh, actually sanded on it a little bit to see how it sands and wet sands and polishes up great. So um, so we're going to do that with, with this car just to give it that uh, the ultimate in top coat protection. So uh, that's where we are with that. Now, uh, the just to let you know, the doors are uh, separate from the, the body. Now, actually behind the door is uh, a panel and the door fits into that little recessed area so the door it's not an opened area with when the door is not on there uh, the door is actually uh, comes down and it sets across the uh, trim here and then this piece goes underneath the fender well and and mates up right here underneath the bottom and uh, forms the uh, the body of the car so uh, so we did some uh we did some a uh, little bit of uh, wash for the panel lines, and uh, it came out really nice. So like I said, it's five coats. Can't beat craft acrylic for laying down smooth. Uh, it really does. You don't have to worry about orange peel. You don't have to worry about humidity. 
uh, it can be a little bit squirrely about uh, about laying down uh, when you first put it on when it's real humid, but eventually it kind of uh, self-levels itself. And if you've got your pressure right and you've got your thin your your paint thin to the right consistency, I can I don't even I mean I can do it blindfolded just about now to you know to to get it to the right uh, consistency to shoot and. Uh, the folk art, you know, it's a little on the thick side. It's probably the best of any of the paint, I think. It, it as far as the way it shoots, the way it lays down, uh, it's not finicky, and it dries to a uh, a really nice sheen. And uh, you know, it it to me it, it it duplicates the look of gravity paints of zero paints. Uh, to me, you know, I've I've not shot gravity paints, but I I did buy a um, a bottle of the zero paints. Uh, not all that, you know, not considering what you're paying for it. Uh, I've not shot a, a, a actual project with it, but uh, I just bought a bottle of the black and shot it on a test body. And uh, it's actually a little bit hot. You have to be careful. You really have to you really have to put a primer down with it without fail. I tried it with, with the primer and without, and uh, it wanted to etch on the plastic just a little bit, which I already knew that from... Uh, from another guy on YouTube that uses their product, and um, so I was kind of prepared for that. But to me, this satin finish looks—you know—it looks good. And when you top coat it, you know, one of the questions that's come across to me from uh, subscribers is, "What do you do for a top coat?" I mean, you know, that's why I don't, I don't like this—I don't like the Craft Chris because it doesn't have the glossy finish. Well, hey. If you've ever shot House of Color or you've shot some of the automotive paint, they don't dry glossy. But that's the only thing that dries glossy are the enamel paints, testers enamel, the MCW enamel, uh, the testers one coat lacquers, uh, uh, Tamiya's uh, lacquer paint in the in the can dries pretty pretty glossy, but. Most of the automotive paint, the other things, they dry flat or they dry satin. The shine that you get is in the clear coat. That's where you get your shine from and your, your sanding, wet sanding, polishing, waxing, whatever it is you do to your top coat, that's where that's where you get your shine from. Uh, that's not to say, you know, I've had some uh, testers and enamel came out, you know, fabulous. I almost didn't have to top coat it. But I do it, you know, for again for the protection of the of the of the uh, color coat. So, but anyway, there's enough rambling with that. Uh, that's how it came out. So we're gonna we're gonna get started on the the rest of the body, the chassis, and everything, and the uh, work started a little bit on the engine. Good looking little engine, and uh, not much to the to the chassis. The the it's a, just a flat piece of plastic on the bottom. There is no. Uh, you know there is no uh, undercarriage detail at all. It's just a flat, flat piece of plastic, and uh, so we won't have to worry about that. All we'll have to do really is to uh, get the interior together and detail it up. It's uh, and there's not you know too much to it either really. So hopefully in a you know couple three weeks we'll have it done. All right, uh, we've got some things coming down the road. We're going to. We are, I got my hands on a John Force funny car that we will be doing uh, coming up. Uh, don't know about next, maybe down the road later on this year. Plan to get in the cancer awareness build, and then uh, I have already decided to jump into the uh, YouTube group build that starts January the 1st and runs to June the 1st, and uh, may even try to get two in in that time, so... Uh, and then we've got some, uh, we've got some, uh, 60s pro stock, I mean, excuse me, 60s super stock stuff, and we have a alter wheelbase to do, and, uh, another funny car besides Dion Force, so we've got lots of stuff to do, and, uh, hopefully we, uh, we will not take so long about getting another video up. All right, that's it for now. Hope everyone has a, uh, a great rest of the week. Take care of one another. Stay safe. Don't take any crap from anyone. We're out of here.